So in this case we can see so there is a relationship between uh, upper theta and aperture n plus half into lambda by a is equal to theta for dark fringes n lambda by a is equal to theta if a becomes a by 2 n lambda is equal to theta a if a becomes a by 2 this n lambda will become n lambda by 2 because lambda is proportional to aperture that is very very important because the aperture should be in the order of length wavelength how much we are exposing onto the slit that is the important point we should know so in this case for the bright fringes we have get we are getting uh, some theta is equal to n plus half into lambda by a if n is equal to 1 or plus or minus 1 therefore theta is equal to 3 lambda by 2a so in this case 3 lambda is equal to 2a theta and lambda is equal to 2 by 3 a theta so we know that aperture is a 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 and 2 by 3 will can cancel and lambda we will get proportional to theta so whatever may be the central fringe and whatever may be the upper and lower fringes they have a, a similar manner to incident on the screen and uh, to form the bright and dark alternative fringes so like this we can understand the single slit diffraction but there is some differences between the interference and diffractions so what are those differences and how can you distinguish them we can see now before going to discuss about the differences the important differences between the Diffraction and interference, there is a great scientist, his name is Richard Feniman. Has given one speech to elaborate the differences between the diffraction and the interference. But in that speech, his conclusions are somewhat interesting. He said that there is no such a difference between uh, interference and diffraction. If there are uh, single source and double slits, we can say it as interference. If it, there is a single source and a single slit, and a multiple source to the single slit is called diffraction. And the pattern of the interference or diffraction is due to the overlapping or superposition of the two waves. Maybe in same phase, maybe in opposite phase. This point is common. And according to his view, if double slit of interference or double slit diffraction takes place, it goes like this. The maximum peak will occur also like this. So if you want to see the order, the clarity order will be like this. like this so a largest peak will be appeared where the intensities are maximum and their causes to the resultant amplitude should be maximum so like this we can understand the diffraction and interference but for the students who are going to attempt the exams they should know what are the clear differences between diffraction and interference for that purpose by going through the patterns so we can resolve some two to three points as differences so what are the differences diffraction in what are the clear differences we can see is in interference there is a formation or alternative formation of equally spaced bright and dark fringes equally spaced alternative fringes but 
but in case of diffraction the central spot will be maximum or double of the remaining lanes so central spot will be maximum width and, and if you go pass to the any either side maybe towards the right side or towards the left side intensity falls down means here the equispacing is not possible central spot will be lengthy or its radius is maximum or more when compared to the remaining layers spot has maximum width in case of interference we can say equal distribution of the intensity but here in diffraction intensity falls down when you are traveling from either side of the bright fringes decrease in intensity of light what is the another difference we can observe is interference is due to the superposition of light rays which are emanating from two slits and the diffraction is due to the interference of uh, or uh, the superposition of a uh, light waves which are from the single slit and we will try to demonstrate those differences in the next section now one of the important differences between the interference and diffraction is in interference it is due to the superposition or overlapping superposition of two waves which are emanating from two slit, narrow slits which are emanating from two narrow slits but in case of diffraction it is due to the superposition of two waves or a single wave which is from a one narrow slit it is due to the overlapping or superposition of of a light or a light wave from one narrow slit or one big slit one a big aperture slit means a slit of big aperture so these are the fmn differences between uh, interference and diffraction pattern there is one problem which is uh, with respect to the diffraction pattern there are two slits which are made one millimeter apart and the screen is placed one meter away this is the actually a problem which was uh, given to understand the concept of interference but this formula this problem was changed to diffraction so what should be the width of the each slit to obtain 10 maxima of the double slit pattern within the central maximum of the single slit pattern so the answer for this question is we know that a theta is equal to lambda and theta is equal to lambda by a so the theta is giving the maxima or minima of the diffraction so we should get 10 maxima of the double slit pattern therefore we can write theta is equal to 10 into lambda by d. Slit pattern is lambda by a. So double slit pattern means 2 lambda by a. So lambda by a 
will converge to 2 lambda by a. So I am substituting these two values in this equation. So therefore, 10 lambda by d is equal to 2 lambda by a. Lambda lambda 2 10 5 times. So therefore, 5 by d is equal to 1 by a. a is equal to d by 5. So, what is the distance between the two slits? 1 millimeter. So, in place of d, we can substitute 1. So, 1 by 5 will be 0 0.02. So, like this, uh, 0 0.2 millimeters. So, for this thing, this interference pattern is going to change to diffraction pattern. Now, we will see the single slit pattern of diffraction. For this purpose, we can do this experiment with uh, the sources which are available to us normally. So we can know the we know the two razor blades. So the two blades like this. We can extend this one. So in the middle we have some design here to here. So a, a zigzag type of design. The same type of blade we can take one more to adjoint this edge. So these are the two different types of razor blades, maybe have same design or the different designs. These two are adjointly placed like this, very close. Still we can expect a thin gap between the two blades like this. So in front of this one, try to arrange a laser light or any filament bulb. So a filament bulb. So if you arrange the filament bulb, but just backside through these slits, this one, this one, through the slits, automatically light will penetrate and they will bend and they will bend at these obstacles. And if you arrange one screen and that screen is acts like a receiver of the shadows and you can see the a bright dark fringes. Like this. So what we can expect, uh, this is a single slit pattern. Suppose if you increased, uh, separated these two blades, uh, B1, B2. While you increased the width, slit width, means if you are separating the two blades, uh, it is nothing but the increasing the slit width. If you increase the slit width, automatically this slit width increase causes to the diffraction pattern in a different way. So we can see the diffraction pattern with this experiment. And one more, we oh, take an aluminum foil. If you cut the aluminum foil to very thin size like a slit, through that also we can send a light, maybe by placing a filament bulb or any other bulb, then we can see this diffraction pattern. So like this, we can observe this diffraction pattern and in the early hours of the morning we can observe the diffraction pattern uh, which is causes to the Tyndall effect when the shadows of the I means the sunlight rays are coming from the top of the ventilator corners of the doors or any holes of the doors so these are all the examples for the diffraction with respect to the different other effects if you like this video 
please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.